Hi everyone, it's me Lisa from the Miss Liz Shop. Uh, you know it's late. We don't know the time. It's past 12 I guess. But um, I hope I get some viewers. Well anyway, um, I want to show you the folders that I have and I made this Um, pocket right here or folder um, yeah pocket I guess and um, I embellished it and you can see there's a Marie Antoinette with the envelope I made and I used velcro to as a closure for it and then there's an eyelid on it so you can put a little card or something in here, right in here, and then um, I left it open here for you to be able to use it as an insert with this card here that belongs to a piece of that of the leftover because I took the envelope and I cut it. First of all, I got these in um, Tuesday mornings, and they come in a package, so this is the folder, um, they're folders. I also have um, they have different kinds. This one is the butterfly one I just I just um, made, and then here's some other ones like with flowers. The back tells you the, the, what what's in the folder. This one is two ninety nine Tuesday mornings, and this the one, butterfly one is six ninety nine, and the Eiffel Tower one is six ninety nine. They're really nice, nice and sturdy, heavy. And then I also have the um, Manila folders I buy in Walmart, like twenty four in a pack, I think. I'm not sure. I think I have them behind me. Twenty five count for two dollars and change, or for two dollars. Not remember, not sure. They're, they're cheap, not expensive at all. All right, so um, I did a lot to this one, which I embellished. Did I used a uh, ruffle lace and um, this lace here in the middle. And this one here, which I used the this nice uh, metal binding with a pearl on it. And then this is fabric of a uh, fabric from Marie Antoinette, which I sewed around it. And then I let the the um, what is it? The thread stick out, and then I added more thread behind it, leftover thread, and so it could look shabby looking. And inside, oh, first of all, here goes the tag I just made. And I can show you how I make those tags. And then inside, it's a bag I sold. Oops. And it has a, uh, a journal inside. And the man and the bag is sold in a shabby chic style. I left this corners here shabby chic looking because I folded it from here and then when I cut it back here, I made that fold right here like like on the bags like the glossing bags come and it's shabby chic at the edges. Then I added a um, one of those light bulb pins 
to use as a closure with a ribbon around around it that I tied. So I'm gonna open it. I just gotta open the little pin here. It's like a safety pin. Whoops. Okay, hold on. And you can buy these from um, Susie Cra Susan Crafty on Etsy. S-U-S-A and Crafty. But the shop name is um, S.M. Tiffany Lane. And she has a lot of little metal things like these and, and a lot of stuff for people to use on journals that we use. Okay, so here we go. And this is a uh, small journal here. And I, um, the covers I used, um, the, um, oh, I forgot, Mod Podge on it. Yeah, the Mod Podge, the glossy one to protect the covers. And it's the spine, you can see it's sewed on a sewing machine. And then I wrapped it around with some lace and some eyelid. So let me open it up, which I could slide it through, but I already started untying it. Hold on. Okay. So here is the smallie journal. So it's five by something, I think. Let me see. I didn't really did I measure this? Let's see. It's four by five and a half. Four by five and a half. It's a good size. Pocket size. And um as you can see. We have a pocket in the inside, which I embellished and sold it. This Marie Antoinette, and I made this card with a um, tag with a heart. Oops. And there's just more journaling tags here. This one, I stamped the back of it. Oops. I have to put them in one by one, these the tags in here. And um it's a pocket here with the little circle. Use it for journaling. And then it's this uh, the bag and you can, you can use it as a pocket so I have the postcard that I sewed around it so there's some sewing there and right here is a lady and I stamp there and on this page here it's pocket, an envelope, and there's a little card inside. And then I used a stone on it. And here's, um, this is a bookmark. And then there's tags. These are really nice. I forgot who I got them from. But the pocket is from my paper pants. And then here, this fabric, which I sewed it. And um, I added the, that light bulb pin. And I, and I have some metals there and a stone hanging. And then here's some more tags. And this one that I made. Let me see. Okay, here goes one. 
that I made and this one here too for journaling and then here's a tag for journaling and then I have a rusty paper clip to hold it together whoops And then on this page, I have a ticket and let's see, it's a young lady. And then this here is some tags that I stamped and they're all together here, see. And there's some stencil in here on this one. So this you put it together. You see there? That little uh, rat right there. And some little tags you can use for um, journaling. I'm going to have this as an insert here and you can see it and the circle here that I inked is I cut them out on my Cricut machine and here's another insert for a card I have to put a card in here let me see if I have one around here here's a little drawer Right here. So, okay. It's an insert thing. Then here goes a little pocket that I made from um, from paper that I that I coffee stained. Then I what I did was I um, stamped it. And then I put this little card in here, this little tag in there. Let's put it back in. I think that's so cute. And then I did this here, so I made these and I just put them up, <laughs> stamp on it. And here goes a ballerina tag. And that's an insert. And these I cut out on my Cricut. I cut these out on my Cricut and then here's an insert another insert and ticks that I made and embellished these I cut out also on my Cricut and this one here is a fold for you to use as journaling I stamped it you open it and you can write in it page here is a belly band I made so this one here that I have embellished you can use it as a notepad flips open and it's coffee stained all of it's all the pages coffee stained Three, one, two, three, four, four sheets. Both sides is eight. You can write in the back and front of it. I'll put it in through here so it doesn't, let's see, no, this way. And there's a tag here and a card here for you to journal on.
And this one here is a, um, this fell out. Wait. It's a fabric uh, pocket. A fabric pocket. See how pretty it is with the rows. And then I have this little card here. You can write on the back. And a tag postcard. And another card here for journaling. And this one that I made right here. And I stamped it. You can read it. And on the back you can write on it. Believe you're in your oh believe in your dreams. That's what it's stamped on there. Okay. Then I embellished it. And then this for writing. Lots of writing pages. Lots of writing pages here. 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 And here's the other um pocket of the bag you can add stuff in here too and then this is the last um, page let me see I can't open this oh yeah it's open looks like it got stuck a little bit to this one here all right you can open it and add um cards in here you can put these are for cards or letters, whatever. So that's for this. And let me tie it again. And it goes back into the pocket. Envelope pocket. I mean, folder pocket. I'm sorry. That's what you call it. What I made a folder. Folder pocket. Which, you know got the idea when I, I was uh, watching, um, first I watched A Taught a Dream, then I watched Kelly Snow, and I watched someone else, and, and I just, you know, I really liked it, so I said I want to make them. And I had these folders already, I bought them, so I said I can do it because I have the folders already. Okay. But the ones I seen were in um, the, the vanilla folders. So, since I already had these ones from uh, Tuesday mornings, I made it out of those. And then, the idea I had was to use this fabric and make a pocket, uh, make a little bed, a little sack to put the journal in. thought that would be good. And it's, you could even give it as a gift. It's so pretty. You know. And you can journal on it. And I have a uh, bag in here. Let me put this back here. This one back here. This. Um, and here it is. Little book. Inside there that I sold see the pages you can uh, journal on them write little notes and stuff poems, anything and um, in here so this is a pocket and then you have that tag in there which is stitched all around and then there's another one there Card. And then I embellished the gloss and bag, which is very pretty, shabby chic looking to go with the, the theme here. And this one comes with it too. It has a heart and some bling up here, eyelid. Nice. It's a clip to hold it, close it up with this clip. And then you open it. 
and we have a card I made and then just write it inside and stamp. Yo te amo, it means I love you, so in French, yo te amo. Okay. And um, that's it for this pocket. Let's see. Yeah. And it all goes together in here now. Let's put it back in here. It makes a cute folder to, you know, put papers in and stuff. So, hold the pocket. So, and here it is. And it's going to be in my Etsy shop by tomorrow. It's too late now. No, I can't put it out. So that's fabric. Remember, that's fabric. Feels so nice. Now, I want to show you that I have this one. It's the other part of this folder. So I made a small pocket with this one. So with this one, what I <clears throat> really want to do is that because it's smaller, I want to make an opening here. So I have to use a hole puncher. Let me see. I have a hole puncher. I was looking at it. And um, it's in here. Not in here as well. Let's see if I want to use this one. Hold on. I thought I had taken my, I don't have any, the one I'm looking for. I'll use this one, I guess. This one here, see it? Let me see, maybe get it closer and you can see it. And what I'm going to do is make an opening. So I would make this, um, I sold it like this. Make this the opening up here. I just should have done it in the beginning. There it goes. Same. So this way when you want to um, use it to put your cards in or whatever you want to use it for, it'll just slip in and out. Uh, oh, this came out here. I got to re-sew it. I don't know what happened. Maybe it was too thick. Let me go sew it. Hold on a second. Just didn't grab it at the right. Let's see. Let's do it over. Let's do it over. Okay, let me see, I got it. Alright, so here it is. Let's 
see how this stitch went along. Okay. There we go. Because this one looks the uh, same almost. Probably, it's probably too thick for the machine. So, I don't know why, because the other one did good. I don't know. If it's the, what it is. Let's see. But it's together. I don't know. Let me check this one. Because it sticks out. I don't like it. Let it come off. On there, I thought, like this. It's still on. Now it's good. Okay. So if you want to, um, what you can do is make cards and um, journaling tags. Because this is like to put cards or, or papers or something in it. So... What I can do is, what I usually do is, I take a long card that I already made, and I can stamp on it something. Whoops. See it? It's a lady with a hat. I'm clean my stamp. All right. So I can do um, love there. Do I have? So I don't have everything here, but I have a couple of stamps. I'm gonna do the heart. There goes the heart. All right. Now, because I want to do this with a fabric like I did over here. You see it? Okay. So, what I do is um, punch it with the large hole in this crocodile hole puncher right here then I keep this little bag here and I have pieces of fabric whoops so I cut this right here and First of all, this one, this one I did two separate ones. So I'm going to do two separate ones then. Might be smaller. Close one. 
just so you fold them evenly hold on fold it even this way right here or this way whichever way you want to do it make a dot here and a dot here go put it right over the the dot right over the hole see probably didn't make it that long but it doesn't matter so we're journaling make it longer it's better so you put a dot here right fold it add another dot here right see where the hole is that's where you're going to put it in the hole but it's too short wait a minute Right there. So make your little journaling, journaling tag. All right, and you can, you know, to show your sample what you can use this for. See your journaling tag right there. Goes in and out. Makes it easier for you to grab it too, because you make this little hole here too. We have some glue on my hand here clean it all right so you can use tags and you can make little books to put them in and this little uh, journal here is a um, book paper that I covered with um, napkin and this is an embellished napkin I bought on Tuesday mornings so you have the book pages here in here and this is a tea bag that I use and then I just distressed it and I you know it's already the color of tea because I used it and I just um, put the sticker papers that I make on my sticker machine and then I got the um, Baker's twine and I added this little button that's a heart. I just tied it around there, you see? Right there. How it's tied. And then I have a pocket behind it that I stitched. And then here goes the pages.